Okay, do you guys want to see a really ugly duckling turn into something kind of cool? <laughs> this is so awesome. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Hey guys, sorry I haven't got anything done on Scrappy in a couple of weeks. So for those of you who think there's some wings done, <laughs> they're not. I'm doing something, something much better, spending some time in the Rocky Mountains with my kids, spent a little bit of vacation. So for right now, we're gonna get a video out. There's nothing new to show you. So what we're gonna do is go back and catch up on a couple of videos I didn't get done. So right now we're gonna put a seat together. And when I get back in town, we'll get back to work. Here's the ugly side. <laughs> my cardboard and duct tape and clear tape. First, I had made my carbon fiber seat. A narrow seat, more leg room for the person in the back seat. This is actually all done, but this back, I actually made a little box. If you look in here, I'm gonna fill it full of foam. And when I fill it full of foam, It'll expand out when it gets to the top. I'll close it, let it ooze out a little, pull all this mess off, sand a new shape to the seat. You can see I made it way too thick. That's because I want to put an angle to it after I put it in the plane with foam on it. And the person in the back seat, I got this idea because I was just flying in my wife's cup and uh, it was a little while ago. And I was sitting in the back, my wife was flying, and I kept trying to watch the airspeed. And I'm leaning around and wondering what's the airspeed, what's the ground speed, where are we on the map? Uh, man, if I ever build a cup, the back seat's gonna get a 10 inch Garmin glass touch screen on it. So this is so that I can carve the foam back, shallow it up, get the angle pointed right at the person in the back seat so they can run all the controls. They'll also be patched into the audio video system so the person can back can look at the rear camera, watch it, watch my flying cowboys buddy behind us. He can change to the video to watch a movie from back here. So he'll be able to watch a movie, watch our buddy flying, watch the map, watch the airspeed. Anyway, that's what it is. A cub, back seat with a 10 inch screen molded into Scrappy's front seat. So this Scrappy looking mess should turn out pretty cool. Let's get to work. I hope I didn't make too much. <laughs> gotta get a perfect mix, so you gotta scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, scrape the stick. Otherwise, it's gonna be a train wreck. Here it goes. See it growing. I'm not pouring, this is growing. this full now which is amazing from not even a, about a half a container we're now to there <laughs> close enough <laughs> Okay, I'm part way through. This looks like a bit of a mess right now. So this seat I've made is a couple inches narrower so that the person in the back seat can have bigger legs if I have a big friend in the back and they can still fit real comfortably. It's still wide enough for me. Um, so this is a lot narrower seat. And then I filled the back with foam and I just started trimming it up. It's still a bit of a mess. This is the beginning shape. This angle is so that the screen's tipped correctly when this seat's leaned back. So uh, it's a big mess right now. It's got a lot of work to do, but when it's done, it should turn out pretty cool. So I gotta go build a metal plate, uh, aluminum bracket. I'm gonna bend it out of leftover aluminum that I used to make a mold for the belly of Scrappy. I keep all that stuff in a pile. So I'll get a piece of it, cut it up, and I gotta make a little frame 
that I can fine tune the adjustment of this back screen and also kind of give me a nice radius edge in the carbon fiber that traces the edge of the G3X. So uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna go bend some metal, get back to work. This is my angle and the nice little rounded edges for the carbon fiber to chase. This is exactly three eighths of an inch offset offset of a G3X. <laughs> so let's get it done. So you can kind of get an idea of what I was working on. And uh, I'll peel this protective layer off and it'll make a perfectly smooth surface to lay carbon. So the way I'm gonna do it now is I'll lay this up, actually I'm gonna sand this foam to the shape I want, kind of clean up the edges, round this off, um, make it pretty, because it's not yet. And then I'll lay carbon fiber over the whole thing and it'll overlap this carbon fiber, but I'll put release tape all the way around everything so that I can build this carbon fiber part, pull it off, remove all the foam, bond it back on, and then finish sand and dress it up. And then the wiring for the G3X will be inside that closed area, run all the way up inside a closed chamber. And this seat's gonna be a full pivot seat. So it can pivot forward and back with a, a stop so that people can get in and out of the back seat really easy. So anyway, we're getting closer, back to work. Put it in the plane and then I'm going to play with this angle until I like the view. So once I get the angle set for the view for the back seat, I'll go ahead and start shaping the rest of the foam and carving it up. Okay, I'm getting close. Not quite there. But I do have the angle set I want, the shape I want. So I got a little more finesse to do. I've got to get the bottom filled with foam because I want a completely closed seat. Um, and I don't know, maybe an hour from now, I'll lay up some carbon. So always back to work. All right guys, I got my front seat done. Got a crazy look to the back that I'm really happy about. That is the screen for the person in the back seat. So it's all closed in, turned out really, really light, really strong. The tracks on the bottom, 
um, nestle into the center pod I made out of carbon fiber, the center section of the aircraft. So it will have ball bearing pivots on the front, pivot out of the way to make it really easy to get in and it goes down this shape, nestles around that center pod to lock the back from being able to move. So when it's in, it's really solid. Of course, the TV back here, so the person in the back can watch movies, <laughs> see the screen, turn on the rear camera, turn on night vision, not ask me how long till we get there. <laughs> Cause are we there yet? Cause it's gonna have the movie map that says what time it is, where we're at anyway. And they can also manipulate all the controls. So Garmin G3X 10 inch screen for the person in the back seat, fully integrated to everything up front. So they can see everything from my other five Garmin screens in the back. So I'm pumped. I'm gonna get it covered, get back to work.